ladies and gentlemen. Now entering Ameris Bank Amphitheater from Alpharetta High School in Alpharetta, Georgia, the senior class of 2021.
Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem by the Alpharetta High School Symphony, conducted by Dr. Charles Laux. Please be seated. Good evening. Actually, better yet, good morning, Raiders! <laughs> That's a little Raider Nation inside joke. You see, I've been calling all of our families every school day morning at 8.15 a.m. since March 13th, 2020, to keep us connected. That was an unprecedented moment in March when our lives changed. Field trips, spring athletic seasons, band performances, prom, schooling as we had known it, it abruptly stopped. We were all told to isolate and quarantine in our homes I immediately needed a new way to communicate with over 2,000 families, and my morning message was birthed. Never did I imagine that 14 months later, our school community would still be separated, and that half of our students would be learning this entire year from their own homes, while the other half were in our buildings. What a collective journey we have faced I bet many of you are sick of that 8.15 a.m. call. While others have told me you came to depend on it as your wake-up call to get yourself motiva motivated, going and connected to Alfreda High School. What an unprecedented year we have battled through together. So I'll start again, more traditional this time. Good evening. My name is Shannon Noel Kersey and I am honored to stand before you on this hot May evening as the proud principal of our prestigious Alpharetta High School. It is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all this evening as we come together to celebrate the accomplishments of 544 Alpharetta High School Class of 2021 graduating seniors. There were many times this year when I was concerned that we would not get this opportunity. And I am just so thrilled that we can all be here together this evening. Thank you to the family and friends who are here today, many of whom have traveled across the country to join in our celebration. I also want to acknowledge the many family and friends who are watching tonight's ceremony via live stream. We know you would be here to celebrate in this momentous occasion if capacity allowed. Please know that you are with us in spirit and in the heart of your graduate. Graduates, faculty, and families, 
let's please give a big round of applause for family and friends who are watching via live stream from their own homes. <laughs> Class of 2021, I have had the privilege of serving as your principal all four years of your high school experience. And to this graduating class especially, you hold a very unique and special place in my heart, as I have been able to watch so many of you since you were in elementary school at Creekview, middle school at Webbridge, and then these four years with me at AHS, because, as many of you know, my own son is graduating tonight. He's been an FCS student and your classmate on Webbridge Road for over a decade. I vividly remember the field days with so many of you and your parents, the desktop stores event with so many of you. I know I purchased some of your materials. The eighth grade trip, the Thanksgiving luncheons, the Junior Raider athletics, and so much more. Thank you all to our feeder schools for enriching the lives of all of our graduates. We have amazing schools in Zone 7. Students, you will be the 17th graduating class from Raider Nation and my 10th graduating class. You embody all that we want a Raider to stand for as communicated here in front of me and around on our beautiful gonfalons. For our guest, the words outlined on our gonfalons are the characteristics we strive to instill in all our graduates. These important words and their meanings can be found on page six of your program this evening. Congratulations to all of our graduates who were selected by our faculty to proudly carry a gonfalon this evening as these students were identified as epitomizing that specific characteristic. Additionally, our 2021 seniors voted on the Alfreda High School teacher who epitomized that same characteristic, and those accolades are found on page seven. At this time, I'd like to introduce our honored guest and esteemed faculty. First, our school board member, Ms. Katie Reeves, who has been a major source of support for Alfreda High School for many, many years, and who also has a family member, a nephew, graduating here tonight. Next, our Zone 7 Area Superintendent, Ms. Kibby Crumbly, who works tirelessly to support her principals and our school communities. Our Alpharetta Cluster Principals, who could be with us tonight, Ms. Julie Morris, Principal of Lakewood, Lake Windward Elementary. Ms. Amy Lemons, Principal of New Prospect Elementary. Ms. Monica N, Principal of Creekview Elementary and one of Raider Nation's own faculty alumni, Mrs. Rebecca Williams, principal of Webb Bridge Middle School. <laughs> Next, I'd like to recognize Alfreda's own amazing administrative team, Mrs. Tina Johnson, Mrs. Claire Greenaway, Mr. Mike Shifley, Mr. Errol Dice, Mr. Frank Fortunato, Mrs. Sherilyn Ketchup, Mrs. Whitney DiCaminato, and class of 2021, your senior administrator and AHS graduate coach, graduation coach extraordinaire, Mrs. Allie Cornegay. <laughs> Allie, please stand for a moment. She's not gonna like this. Thank you, Ms. Cornegay, for leading the charge of organizing this entire amazing commencement ceremony for our graduates and their families this evening. I'd like to take a moment to honor Mrs. Cornegay for 17 years of service to Alpharetta High School. Mrs. Cornegay is one of the few remaining AHS original faculty members still on staff. She's decided to try her luck in middle school and work with our junior Raiders moving forward at Webb Bridge. Mrs. Cornegay volunteered to read all 544 of your names tonight as well. Could we honor her one more time? The big Raider Nation roaring round of applause. Thank you, you'll be missed. I'd also like to recognize our amazing counseling team who have worked so closely with our students and families during our students' matriculation through high school. Usually all are up on stage with us, but due to capacity limitations, they're this year sitting amongst our students and families. Mrs. Karen Bolt is on stage, our head counselor. There they are, right back here. 
Please stand when I call your name. Mrs. Brandy Taylor, Mrs. Amy Longstreth, Mrs. Jay Wiley, Mr. Derek Evans, and finally, Mrs. D. Webb. D, you gotta stand up and remain standing. Tonight's a very special night for D. Webb as she will be retiring after 20 years of service in education and 17 years of service to Alpharetta High School. Mrs. Webb is another Alfreda High School original faculty member. I think we're under 10 now. Dee, thank you for your passion for our students and our school. You leave a legacy of positivity and compassion. You have positively impacted the lives of thousands of students during your tenure. And I'm not exaggerating when I remind you and everyone here that in your capacity of a high school counselor, you have literally saved the lives of many students in our community. Thank you, you will be greatly missed. <laughs> Additionally, I'd like to recognize Mr. Andrew Bolin and Mrs. Letitia Etheridge. Our student council sponsors and our 2021 Teacher of the Year, Mr. Mike, Mike Womack. Mike Womack. I'd also like to acknowledge all our phenomenal teachers and staff who are here with us on this special evening. So Alfred High School faculty, could you please stand? They're all around. Looks a little different, our setup is different this year. Teachers, it is truly your expertise and your tireless dedication to the growth and learning of our students that has brought all these graduates to this moment. These past 14 months have been especially challenging for all of us and I could not be more proud or more grateful for the dedication, hard work and creativity of our teachers who implemented simultaneous instruction all year, teaching some students physically sitting in their classrooms while other students were learning virtually from home, all while being masked up, often behind a plexiglass barricade. That is no easy task. Students, parents, and guests, let's thank these amazing teachers one more time with our applause. I'd also like to recognize Mr. Rodney Floyd. He is watching via live stream this evening. This is a very special night for Rodney as this will be his final Alfreda High School graduation. Raiders, Rodney Floyd is retiring this year after 37 years as an educator and 17 years at Alfreda High School. Mr. Floyd was also hired as part of the original faculty at AHS when the school opened in 2004. Mr. Floyd, you leave a legacy of high expectations and engaging lessons. You have enriched the lives of thousands of students during your long career as both a teacher and a coach. We all thank you and we wish you the best of luck during this next phase of your life. I also want to recognize Mrs. Lisa Strollio. She officially retired in December, but is back to see so many of her graduates here tonight. Welcome back, Mrs. Strolligo, and congratulations on your reti retirement as well. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to recognize Dr. Lauchs, our orchestra director, and Mrs. Michelle Levesque, our chorus director. Thank you for your leadership of our world-class musical programs and for ensuring that our commencement ceremony still included the music of our own AHS students, even if not exactly how we have done so in the past, due to limited seating capacity on stage. Now, most importantly, welcome to you, Alfreda High School Class of 2021. And as your class motto proudly boasts, you are 2021 and done. For our guests this evening, one of the traditions established since the school's opening in 2004 is that each senior class gives themselves a motto. And the class of 2021 decided to go with 21 and done. 
So class of 2021, let's take just a moment and reflect on your class motto. What exactly are you glad to be done with? Given the tumultuous and some would argue traumatic events of the last 14 months, I'm going to guess that you are done with Microsoft Teams. <laughs> you are done with drive-through school events. You are done with having to clean your workspace at the end of every class. Eight minute transitions. You're done with one way hallways and weird hallway U-turns. You're done with empty classrooms, done with computers freezing and crashing, done with your teachers forgetting they're on mute, done with virtual classrooms, done with learning from your bedroom, done with limited capacity at events, done with prepackaged meals, done with temperature checks, COVID-19 questionnaires, done with my annoying morning messages, and last but not least, done with wearing masks. <laughs> to be sure, there is definitely a lot to be done with. But class of 2021, before you move on completely from high school, reflect on some things never to be done with. Do not be done with living your life with hard work and achieving academic excellence. Your academic performance on ACTs, SATs, advanced placement and IB exams puts you in the top in the state and the nation. Just this month, the US News and World Report released its 2021 best high school report and ranked Alpharetta as one of the top 2% of all high schools in the nation. We also don't want our athletes to be done with sacrificing and working hard to achieve goals. Congrats to our women's volleyball team and our men's track team for being 7A state champions. For all of our graduating athletes, whether you are continuing to play in college or not, do not be done with that work ethic and ability to work as a team that you developed as a high school athlete. Those skills will carry you far in life. For all of our artists, performers, and creators, don't be done with the discipline it takes to perfect your craft, and do not be done with the passion you have that drives your creativity. Our band, orchestra, chorus, winter guard, and theater students consistently earn superior ratings and national awards. Our graduates have won Emmys in film and Schuler Awards in theater, and we have dozens of graduates winning art competitions, national FBLA awards, national debate awards, and more. Yes, the arts and career tech disciplines are thriving in Raider Nation. So class of 2021, while you may be done with student IDs, off-campus stickers, parking lotteries, anchor time, and high school dress codes, don't ever be done with the qualities you have cultivated in Raider Nation and the friendships that you have made. Most importantly, don't be done with your altruism. Students, I'm inspired by the way you give back to our community and prioritize volunteer service as a way of life. Whether through supporting North Fulton Charities, Autism Speaks, Relay for Life, Hope House, North Metro Miracle League, or some other organization or project, you have found a way to serve. Many of you created your own not-for-profit businesses specializing in ways to assist those with specific needs during the COVID-19 pandemic. You collected and delivered protective equipment you made masks, you collected and delivered hand sanitizer, and you helped students and families learn how to use technology. You stepped up, you saw a need, and you gave of your time, heart, and expertise to help our community through one of the most difficult historical periods in our lifetime. When I look around and see the many service cords around your necks, representing countless hours of service to our community, it is easy to see what amazing people you have become. Students, you are sitting here tonight in that exact seat, socially distanced exactly four feet from your fellow graduate, due to staying focused and accomplishing a goal, 
even during a worldwide pandemic. Be in this moment. Even though it may not be exactly how you envisioned it would be, this moment, here right now, this is you being done with high school. As, in, as importantly, it is about you starting the next exciting chapter of your amazing life. In your silver envelopes, I shared a quote with you all from Martin Luther King Jr. that I want to close with this evening. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. Class of 2021, over the past 14 months, you have had to deal with challenges and controversy most of us never even imagined. Yet you did not give up, and I believe you will come out stronger, wiser, more resilient, and much more flexible having lived through this tumultuous year. You are an amazing group of students, and I wish you the very, very best. Congratulations, and remember, you are all always a Raider. Thank you. And now I welcome Student Council State Parliamentarian Rohit Jivangakar to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Teachers, family, faculty, and the graduating class of 2021, good evening. My name is Rojivan Geeker, and I'm the state representative of Student Council. Seniors, we're here. We did it. After a year of surprises and unexpected twists and turns, we are finally sitting in this amphitheater wearing our caps and gowns. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. Time has zoomed by, hasn't it? No pun intended. As cliche as it sounds, it truly does not feel like we're about to move on from this crucial chapter of our lives to the next. In a way, this year was a representation of how high school and frankly the past 13 years of education have been for most of us. It may have not started off as we expected, yet we persevered against all odds to get to this position of relief, celebration, and reflection. And by no means was it a walk in the park either. The past four years have presented us with a variety of challenges that have pushed us to our limits, both mentally and physically. I'm sure you guys have had those days where you'd feel unmotivated to get out of class, to, to get out of bed and join class, or start an assignment just until a few hours before it was due. And I'm sure you guys have had other days where you'd feel overwhelmed balancing school, family, clubs, and everything else in between. Nevertheless, it was those days where you guys learned the most valuable lessons that shaped into who you are today. However, this is nothing new. Our class has powered through countless moments of adversity and subsequent perseverance against all odds. And I think living through a pandemic has made us overlook or even forget about some of these moments. I think that in 20, 30, even 50 years, we'll be telling stories about Snowmageddon during fifth grade, the national school walkout freshman year, and our ongoing activism against social injustice. Thus, I urge you to not only celebrate how far you've come, but to reflect on how you can use these past experiences to accomplish even more in the future. As we turn our tassels today and move towards this next chapter, remember that throughout all of these obstacles we have faced as a class, we confidently persevered against all odds to be where we are today. As Lizzo once said, I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100%. Y'all can, can fill in the rest. In all seriousness, no. I'll leave you with this. If you ever feel discouraged or disheartened, just know that, like always, you will persevere against all odds. I look upon each and every one of your faces today, and I see 557 unique personalities, 557 unique sets of goals, and 557 unique destinies. 
Alfreda High School Class of 2021, hold on to the past, savor the present, and focus on the future. Congratulations. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if everyone would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. It is now my distinct pleasure to bring to the stage our 2021 salutatorian, Mr. Samir Digasani. Good evening and congratulations to the class of 2021. Growing up, I had a gut-wrenching fear of the picture book, Where the Wild Things Are. For those that are unfamiliar with this children's classic, the protagonist, a little boy named Max, wreaks havoc around his house, warranting his mother to send him to bed. Max's bedroom door closes, and almost immediately, a dense forest and vast ocean emerge and envelop him in another world. After maneuvering a sailboat through a treacherous sea route that would have any skilled boatsman sweating, Max happens upon an island where the wild things are. Now this is what made me hide in the back of the classroom every year the book was read. My eyes shut and fists balled up as my teachers presented the grotesque imagery of creatures who attempt to scare Max by roaring, stomping, and showing their teeth. Unlike myself, Max does not so much as even flinch, and his unwavering courage earns him the coveted crown of the most wild thing of all. The author, Maurice Sendak, shares that the message of his story is intentionally ambiguous. For young children, they might extract the liberation that they can achieve through their own imagination. For parents who read it to their children at bedtime, it may help them navigate their kids' fluctuating emotions. But now, wearing the lenses of soon-to-be high school graduates, we can extract incredibly potent lessons that will aid us in this new chapter of our lives. Embarking on such a daunting journey without second thought, Max teaches us to be oblivious to our own limits. If we believe in what we can do instead of what we cannot, we will cross boundaries and overcome hurdles we did not even know were there. As with many of us, one of the defining moments of my freshman year was my dad teaching me how to drive. On just the second day of our lessons, he told me to merge onto the highway. I complied and jumped into doing something any sane driving instructor would say I was dangerously unprepared to do. But what got us both home safely that day was just thinking about the road that lay ahead. The fact of the matter is that if we knew our limitations, we would be too paralyzed by fear to take the wheel. We would sit at home, passively unaware of, yet yearning for, the possibilities of where we could take ourselves. That is to say, let your wildness empower you to do the unimaginable. Max knows his appearance is anything but frightening to the creatures, so he takes a different approach and tames them with a magic trick. From this, we can understand not to conflate our inexperience with inadequacy. Inexperience is an asset that we can take, take advantage of to offer fresh and unorthodox solutions to exhausted ideas. When we lack experience, we can follow an already blazed trail by conforming to prescribed values, or we can place faith in our own intuition to create a new one that is truly and wholly ours. If the past four years have taught us anything, it is that we have been dealt a particularly tough hand as a generation, we cannot choose the challenges we face. We can, however, choose how we will respond. Knowing this, 
I almost always find myself trying to envision our future. The institutions we are about to join are undoubtedly steeped in tradition. We will be faced with a number of bosses, politicians, and mentors commanding us to fall in line with their way of doing things, some of which will be resistant to change and progress. Despite how much these authorities roar, stomp, and show their teeth to scare you into submission, take pride in your unique interpretation of the wild thing inside of you to unconventionally take on the world. After he grows tired of the island, Max sails back home to find dinner waiting for him. With this gracious welcome, we are reminded of the people in our life who, despite how much we might mess up, will love us unconditionally. It is a cliche because it is true that our friends and family make us who we are. Over the past few months, I have started the practice of writing at least one thing I am grateful for each day. At first, it was the tub of mango ice cream I got from the grocery store that afternoon, or the particularly vivid sunset I'd observed that evening. Naturally, I began to shift from these temporary indulgences to things while, that, while they may be small, will stick with me forever. The things that will make me hug my pillow extra tightly when I am in my dorm next year. The pages of my journal now became filled with my mother bringing me dinner when I lose track of time and forget to eat. My grandmother folding my laundry before I even get the chance to. My brothers expressing how proud they are of me. My teachers who go out of their way to put a smile on my face. My friends reminding me that I am not fully grown yet. When you slow down and take note of every little thing people do for you, you begin to realize you could have only come to where you are because of those around you. But it is not enough to simply acknowledge what people do for you. True appreciation is shown through action. So I ask you to consider this. You must take on more than just the role of Max in your life. When your loved ones face the wild things in their own lives, step into the role of Max's mother and support them unconditionally, even if it is as small as a plate of dinner. Thank you. At this time, I invite our students, faculty, and guests to listen and view to a recording of the Alpharetta High School Chorus singing the last song directed by AHS Choral Director Michelle Levesque.
And now it's my distinct pleasure to welcome to the stadium our 2021 valedictorian, Mr. Grady Etheridge. Testing, testing, okay. <laughs> when people came to talk to me about this speech, it was about one of two things. One, they wanted me to reference something or someone in my speech. And you asked, here's where I deliver. Minecraft, Jacob Clifford, the NFL, Big Bang Theory, our track state championship, running, protein, and last but not least, George Vladdy. A round of applause for George Vladdy, please, please. And the second thing that happened was people came up to me and asked, you nervous? And of course, I tried to play it off. Nah, couldn't be me. I'm perfectly fine. It's just five minutes of talking. But standing up here in front of a few thousand people with a few thousand eyeballs on you can change your mind in a heartbeat. And uh, speaking of heartbeats, mine's beating pretty fast right now, but hey, it's just five minutes. Five minutes for me to be inspirational, motivational, and entertaining. No pressure, right? So, in looking for inspiration for this speech, I did what any teenager does when they don't know something. I Googled it. I relied on a handful of searches to take me through the annuls of motivational quotes present on the internet, and I came across a surprising theme, the shortness and finite nature of life. Dozens, if not hundreds of quotes revolve around this very simple, succinct phrase, life is too short. And to quote every high schooler at one point or another, bruh, that's cap. Because your life, the very thing that everyone is constantly telling you is too short. Yes, that life, your life, is the longest thing that you are blessed with knowing in its entirety. And time is relative because there's a clam, it's called a quahog, and it lives anywhere from two to 400 years on this great earth. Yet in that time it accomplishes absolutely nothing. It just passively exists, slowly expiring until one day it can expire no more and perishes. Now, on the other hand, there's a kid named Nate Vianz who, after kicking cancer's butt, ran an entire marathon in the time it took me to watch Avengers Endgame. And he did this all at just eight years old. So don't ever believe the lie that your life is too short because to put it simply, it isn't. Yes, you all have goals, and yes, it is very easy to feel that there's just simply not enough time to accomplish everything that you want in life. But just trust me when I say there is. You have the time, talent, and tools. You have what it takes to accomplish whatever you want to put your mind to. And if you ever doubt it, just take a look around you at your fellow graduating class. In my unbiased opinion, let's get a round of applause for the greatest graduating class in Alpharetta High School history. What you all have done in the past four years of high school and 17 or 18 years of life is nothing short of inspirational. You started businesses, nonprofits, and helped your community when it needed it the most. You got involved politically, making sure to never stay silent, and spoke for those whose voices got drowned out. You excelled in all aspects of your career. We have multiple classmates who have committed to pursue athletic excellence in college, and there are so many I personally know who will go on to compete past the collegiate level, professionally and in the Olympics. My friends have also excelled in the arts. They've played in nationally recognized performances and even created their own poetry, songs, paintings, sculptures, and all sorts of other breathtaking compositions. 
and the community that is the Alpharetta class of 2021. You guys are awesome. You rose to the occasion countless times, providing PPE, voting information, and all other sorts of support. And you've learned. My goodness, you've learned so much in just four years of high school. Languages, coding, artificial intelligence, history, science, and calculus. It's amazing how much your lives have changed in such a short amount of time. So, yes, life is short when we compare it to the universe, the world, or even to a clam. But if anyone tells you your life is too short to fill in the blank here, let your high school careers and future selves prove them wrong because life is too short not to. And how, you might ask, do I go about proving them wrong? I'm not exactly sure. But I do have an idea for how you can start. As my idol Ron Swanson once said, sting like a bee, but do not float like a butterfly. That is ridiculous. I say this not to encourage you to abandon grace and poise, but to tell you to avoid floating through life. It's easier, but in the end, you'll be where the winds want you to be, not where you want to be. So don't just sting like a bee, but be a bee, no pun intended. Bees do a lot more than sting. They keep the gardens alive just as the gardens keep them alive. In other words, rely on your support system. Don't be hesitant to ask for help when you need it and express gratitude, always. I've been fortunate enough to be surrounded by people who've always helped. My mom, dad, and brothers, Spencer and Bennett, and all the family and friends I'm lucky to have with me here today are a source of strength for me. The teachers and administrators here at AHS are amazing and deserve every amount of commendation and celebration they receive and more. So thank you all for being the engine that kept me going these past four years. I know I can never repay you for what you've done and I am forever in your debt. And to my friends and everyone else graduating tonight, we did it, we made it. These past four years prepared us not just for this moment, but for life later on. I implore you to bet on yourself every chance you are given to do so. Shoot for the moon, and when you get there, stop for a moment to celebrate and revel in what amazing things you have done before you turn your sights to the stars and the great unknown. The universe may be infinite, but so too is my faith in each and every one of you. You are uniquely talented and capable. So remember, life is not too short to do anything. Bet on yourself, do the uncomfortable, and to anyone who doubts, sting like a bee. Spend tonight in well-deserved celebration before you embark on this new chapter of your life. Now, go forth, and when you get there, save me a spot on the moon. I love you all. And now I'd like to welcome to the stage our 2021 Teacher of the Year, Mr. Mike Womack. That's a bright light. Greetings class of 2021. It is my honor to speak with you today. When Dr. Kersey first asked if I would speak, I said, you can't afford this. <laughs> and then she reminded me that I'm under contract with Fulton County Schools until the end of the month. So let that be lesson number one, the art of negotiation. <laughs> I truly am honored to speak with you today. I'm only up here because I was named the Teacher of the Year, and I think it's worthwhile noting some other best and of the year awards. These include Taylor Swift for Album of the Year, Sir Anthony Hopkins for Best Actor of the Year, Anthony, or sorry, uh, Aaron Rodgers won Most Valuable Player of the Year, and Devontae Smith won the Heisman. Am I insinuating that these awards and recognitions are equal? Absolutely. <laughs> but who can really say? So let this be number two, lesson number two. None of us were awarded these honors for work that we completed in a vacuum. And you did not make it through 13 years of your education 
There were 17 or 18 years of life on earth on your own either. Yes, the pomp and circumstance is for you. The graduation parties are for you. The loads of cash in the envelopes at home from family members, that's all for you. But years before the signs hanging up around this amphitheater were marked with the year 2021, your parents and guardians and grandparents and aunts and uncles, they already had that year firmly tattooed in their brains. They have been waiting for this year, for, 20, for the year 2021, for 18 years. They have been praying for you for nearly two decades. They have lost sleep for you. They have shed tears for you. Untold numbers of hours at soccer practice and band recitals and Girl Scout meetings, birthday parties and swim meets. They have been your unpaid Uber drivers your entire life. You probably know, at least on a surface level, that these statements are true. But you can never know, never fully understand what it means to shepherd a child into this world and watch them grow up before your very eyes just to send them away. You might. One day, you might know what it's like if you decide to become a parent or a guardian or an incredible aunt or uncle yourself. But mark my words, every struggle that you went through so did they. Every scraped knee from falling off your bicycle, they felt that pain. They held you when you broke up with your first boyfriend or girlfriend. They carried you to bed when you fell asleep in their bedroom. They were with you for all the highs and all the lows, even when you didn't see them standing in the shadows. They have invested their entire lives in you and for you. You are their heart outside their chest. Graduating from Alpharetta High School is truly an honor, but you, don't, you didn't do this on your own. And if you graduated with top honors from our school, but you didn't recognize that, then your education is not yet done. To the parents and grandparents and guardians and siblings and aunts and uncles in the audience today, this is your day as much as theirs. But because you have been selfless most of your lives, when it comes to your child, you won't stand in this very bright spotlight. You won't walk across this stage and our speeches are not for you. You won't get to march into this amphitheater with any praise, but we see you. Seniors, see them. I'm not sure if you could tell where your families were sitting when you marched in, but if you could turn around and try to find them right now in the audience, I would appreciate that. Turn around and give them the applause and appreciation that they deserve. They went through something 18 years ago to bring you into this world. We recognize your tireless and selfless work. There simply is no way that we could do our job as well as we do it without you helping us out. Your sons and daughters would not be in these seats today if not for you. Gratitude, uh, graduates, excuse me, before the end of this day, before you close your eyes and lay your heads on the pillows to go to sleep tonight, make sure you thank those adults in your lives. Well, they got very serious very quickly. So to my beloved class of 2021, I've gotten to teach so many of you in 10th grade and now again in your senior year, and I'm grateful for you all. I wish you nothing but continued success and a reminder to show gratitude as frequently and as often as you can. Be well, do good work, make a difference in the world, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye everybody, bye bye. Wow, that was wonderful. So I'm Karen Bolt, one of the counselors. We've had so many wonderful senior accomplishments this year, and we would like to take a moment to congratulate those in our graduating class who have been offered scholarships and grants. This year, we have created an Alpharetta High School scholarship website. Check it out in the next couple of days. A detailed list of scholarships offered to our seniors, 
as reported to us by May 1st, is available on this website. These scholarships were awarded for exceptional academics, athletics, community service, and or leadership. The class of 2021 has been offered over $3.5 million in scholarship and grant money, and additional scholarships will be offered throughout the summer. Furthermore, Hope and Zell eligible students will receive over $3.2 million additional dollars to the previous mentioned scholarship and grant money. Please stand if you have accepted a scholarship, grant, and are joining the military so that we may applaud your outstanding achievements and service. Stand up if you've been offered a scholarship, guys. You may sit down. Thank you again. Congratulations, seniors. Good evening, I'm Andrew Bolin, a proud teacher and co-advisor for the Alfreda High School Student Council. For the past 93 years, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution has recognized high school seniors that excel in academics, leadership, extracurricular involvement, and community service. This award is one of the most prestigious awards that an Atlanta area senior can receive and is given to the individual that has distinguished themselves as an outstanding high school student. The Alfreda High School faculty was asked to select one senior student who embodied all of these attributes. While many students were considered, one student stood out as a true model of excellence in these areas. The student honored with this award today has shown habits of excellence in his classroom work and participation, his dedication to various extracurricular activities, and his leadership among his peers. I am honored tonight to present this award to Luke Barrett. Luke, please make your way to the stage as I read some of the comments made about you by our esteemed faculty. Luke is one of the most kindest, most compassionate, empathetic students I have ever had the privilege of working with during my teaching career. Luke is one of the most authentically kind and intelligent students I've ever had the honor of teaching. I've never taught anyone like Luke, but I see him in the hall every day and he's so positive and friendly. He seems like the most genuine person and always makes me smile. Luke always has a smile on his face and a positive attitude even when things are rough. He is very thoughtful in his words, both written and verbal, and in his actions. He brightens up any room. Luke, you have made a significant impact on all of the teachers and staff members who have had the pleasure to know you and your peers who have learned and grown alongside of you. We salute your accomplishment and we present you with the 2021 Atlanta Journal-Constitution Cup for excellence in academics, leadership, extracurricular involvement, and community service. Congratulations. What's going on, class of 2021? I can't hear you. What's going on, class of 2021? I know this isn't about me. It's obviously all about you. I am extremely proud of every single one of you. I'm especially proud of my children. Y'all know who you are, so congratulations. All right. Good evening, everyone. I am Letitia Etheridge. I am one of the advisors for the Alpharetta High School Student Council. And this is my third year as an AHS science teacher. 
I am here this evening to present the Faculty Cup Award to one outstanding student. Five years ago, a committee was formed with students, teachers, parents, and the community members to create our Raider motto. This motto would declare the characteristics we wanted our Raider seniors to take into the world. After spending about a year working together, it was decided that the most important attributes would be respect, integrity, citizenship, and hard work. I would like to acknowledge that we had many students that were nominated that fit the radar motto that we take pride in, which is a testament to the character and dedication of the class of 2021. But we had one that stood out in the crowd that truly exemplifies what it means to be a Raider. And it is my honor to present the award to, drum roll please, y'all can do better than that, drum roll please, Brooke Munn. You earned this, come on up love. I could go on and on about how fantastic, you know I had to throw that word in there, uh, Brooke is, but since this is the faculty cup, I would like to share some comments from her classroom teachers. Brooke was a pleasure to have in class. She worked incredibly hard this year and always had a fantastic attitude. She was one of the only students who said good morning to me every day, and I looked forward to that class period just for that. Brooke is one of the kindest and most personable students that I've had the pleasure to teach. I really think the word personable describes her to a T. Brooke has been an incredible asset in student council and in peer leadership. She has risen above any obstacles she has faced and taken on a mentor role for many of our underclassmen members. I am truly so proud of her and will miss her. She is absolutely deserving of this recognition. Brooke, you are what it means to be a Raider in every sense of the word. Don't start, please. <laughs> you have touched so many lives around you. In my own personal experience, I have seen the unique mark that you have left here at Alpharetta, and I have a sneaking suspicion that you will continue to blaze a trail of greatness throughout the rest of your academic and professional career. We salute your accomplishments and we present you with the 2021 Faculty Cup for Excellence in Respect, Integrity, Citizenship, and Hard Work. All right, students, the moment you have been waiting for, could you please all stand as Mrs. Katie Reeves comes to the podium and reads the most important statement of the night. Thank you. Well, dripping. By the authority vested in me by the Fulton County Board of Education, I certify that these graduates have met the graduation requirements of the state of Georgia and are hereby entitled to the rights and privileges afforded to holders of a Georgia high school diploma. Congratulations to this wonderful class. Grady Etheridge. <laughs> Samir Dagasani. <laughs> no, go back. Go back. Sorry. 
I'm going to read the names of the students that were not able to be here, um, but had met graduation requirements. Amina Axine, Giselle Camacho, Jack Chaplin, Alexandra Clark, Nicholas Clark, Anubhav Duby, Alessio Faro, Komal Ganta, John Gideon, Ariel Gilder, Rancher Gill, Adrian Gratterall, Vinay Hawan, Christopher Queston, Soham Jane, James Jones, Aratrika Carr, Urjoshi Carr, Lauren Letterer, Rishi Magiwala, Kathleen Mistretta, Kendall Moore, Manolo Navarrete, Felicity Negan, Shrahith Palmaretti, Si Yun Park, Stephen Prevet, Sarah Qureshi, Amelia Richard, Ida Sherbach, Paige Shepard, Oliver Taylor, Jacob West, Anna Yanakieva, and Justin Yang. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Rohit Jeevangeeker. Kieran Kashup. Brian Sean. Arushi Mittal. <laughs> Chloe Burgess. Colin Butch. Alex Eberly. Ryan Ganano. Olivia Gustave. Miles Paris. Alec Bessany. Oops. Kennedy Bowman. Kendall Brown. Charlie Bunarek, Daniela Claiborne, Megan Ng, Nicholas Gowalik, Kamaria Lyons, Emma Moore, Brooke Munn, Avery Rose, Sarah Sergi, Yara Abdel Rahim, Araceli Acosta, Araceli Acosta, sorry, Daniel Adams. Carissa Aidy. Yes. Sam Agadello. Edward Aguilar. Bilal Ahmed. Paul Marianne Aka. Nithya Akula. Arham Alam. Dana Alamudi. 
Abdallah Abu Bakar Ali. Amira Alumron. Andrew Alvarez. Noah Alvarez. Julian Ambrosetti. Anthony Trey Anderson. Haley Anderson. Sahil Aneja. Lando Armstead. Jordan Armstrong. Anch Aurora. Dalma Artiaga Rosales. John Asimoda. Matthew Ash. Aaron Bagger. T. Bahur. Onichio Bailey. Vatsala Bajpai. Devin Baker. Mahari Baker. Kate Balian. Jack Ballard. Jake Baranek. Noy Barrell. John Barone. Luke Barrett. Lakshay Batu. Alyssa Beard. Flora Bidala. Anushka Bendagiri. Chastity Benitez Perez. Brandon B. Bolivar. Tanner Burns. Dracor Berry. Ethan Berry. Mashmi Bahat. Baylor Bice. Martina Biratite. Inesh Biswas. Joshua Bomer. Elizabeth Borakova. Lauren Boyles. Karella Brabenek. Lucia Brawley. Sierra Brown. Stephen Buckingham. Austin Cadell. Avery Camera. Riley Camera. Morgan Camp. Rohan Betty. Madeline Cannon. Anthony Carbo. Walker Carey. 
Cole Carlson. Des Carr. Jack Casey. Cristiano Cavallo. Caden Center. Akshay Chaparala. Alex Chapman. Elise Chapui Anderson. Ram Vikas Saudri. Zara Chaudhry. Chiranjeevi Chamelli. Malachi Chip. Daniel Cho. Aaron Cho. Yan Sol Cho. Lydia Christensen. Maya Clark. Danielle Claiborne. Nathan Elijah Cole. Ben Cooley. Jenna Corbin. Isaac Costa. Kylan Crosby. Lauren Cullity. Hunter Curd. Rain Dancy. Anisha Dash. Kaylin David. <laughs> Maya Dawson. Ilea Dean. Austin DeBrody. Nick Dexy. Mari Denson. Elizabeth DeShazer. Juan I. Diaz. Rafael Diaz. Layla Dubai. Jackson Dickey. Annabelle Demova. William Dolan. Elena Doppel. Grace Dermasich. Jordan Duperville. Mary Grace Durham. Caden Durkin. Emily Dyke. Alex Evil. Leah Ariana Eccles. Kamari Edmead. Quinn Isley. Van Emberger. 
Pat Epo. Layla Estes. Joseph Famon. Ben Failer. Nick Failer. Barisha C. Faro. Kirsten Farrar. Adiba Fatima. Ariba Fatima. Julia Ferrari. Stephen Fidlon. Noah Fisher. Cam Foster. John Forey. Alan Freilich. Emma Frank. Ellie Fuller. Lena Fultz. Arjun Gajula. Bella Gang. Sid Gangavarapu. Anna Garcia. Jacob Garcia. Santiago Garcia. Chloe Gates. Juan Gayton. Savannah Gerdes. Nicole Gerdau. Ella Gibson. Enrique Giddy Berger. Michael Gusto. Nicholas Gusto. Justin Goldberg. Harrison Goldstein. Amir Goziev. Katie Graf. Hazel Gray. Christian Gray. Miles Gray. Dennis Green. Eisen Griffin. Sebastian Guerrero Cruz. Ajinkia Gundaria. Shreya Gunji. Carissa Halim. Olivia Halfin. Haley Hamill. Journey Harris. Jessica Hayes. Garrett Hefner. Jackie Hendricks. Alicia Henry. Baylor Henry.
John Heyerdahl. Juan Higuera. Sydney Hill. Simone Hill. Amir Hojati. Ashley Holman. Alex Holmquist. Dylan Horton. Kevin Howard. <laughs> Haley Hubbard. Moises Huerta. Keaton Hughes. Megan Hugus. Zach. Hugus. Zainab Hormuzlu. Dylan Husky. Charles Hyun. Jaden Ayanaye Igwe. Isha Imran. Amna Ingham. Margaret Ann Nelos Irwin. Nicholas Hymas. Anna Hymas. Sierra Jalad. Soham Jamloki. Nate Jero. John Ginnis. Estefania Jimenez Gonzalez. Nathan Jin. Neil Joban Putra. Rishi Joban Putra. Manu John. Alexis Cho Johnson. Kevin Johnson. Kyle Johnson. Jenna Jones. Divya Joshi. Lauren Kalman. Sanath Kumath. Sahith Kancharala. Pooja Candy Koopa. Philip Bodhi Kanoff. Harush Kanthi. Kyle Kazmierski. Emma Kelly. Landon Kelly. Kyron Kennedy. Jenny Ayung Kim. Amanda Kinderman. John Kinsey.
Alejandra Koch. Naisha Coley. Shivani Komanduri. Yushas Kamarlu. Chase Koopman. Sanaji Peglo. Shreyas Kumar. Philip Kuznetsov. Courtney Lacey. Noam Lax. Joshua Lan. Dominic Larson. Hunter Lacerna. Jongmin Paul Lee. Madison Lemond. Ebony Lemons. Andrew Lent. Madison Luchanan. Gray Lewis. Victoria Lee. Rayan Liang. Alexander Lidback. Eric Lim. Libby Lindahl. Landon Lynn. Zach Linville. Raul Liso. Luke Little. Richard Little. Darren Liu. Michelle Liu. Sarah Landano. Logan Lovett. Charles Liu. Bavia Madati. Camille Maline. Sophia Manansala. Avia Manchanda. Cameron Martin. Jack Martin. Sydney Martin. Daniela Martin. Julia Martin Soto. Tim Mathis. Jack Maddie. Nola Mauerman. Duncan McCarthy. Jonah McCutcheon. Chris McFarlane. C. 
CJ McFerrin. <laughs> Catherine McGovern. Erica Lydia McNulty. Megan Meehan. Natalia Mejia. Oriana Mendoza. Peter Meng. Dylan Merrill. Allie Metcalf. Avni Mascar. Julia Miller. Justin Mills. Akil Mir. Darpan Mishra. Catalina Mishra. Rehan Mohammed, Ashkan McClessy, Roberto Molina, Jude Moore, Natalia Morales, Valeria Moreno. Kelsey Morgan. Ruthen Mudasani. Kaizia Victor Munlaparti. Julia Mundy. Kaya Murphy. Siraj Mysore. Darshan Nayer. Dylan Nanji. Victoria Nascimento. Isabella Navia. Priya Nayak. Arikia Nelson. Natalie Nelson. Christina Neville Mersey. Violet Newhart. Mandy Ung. Avity Gognani. Will Nobles. Navid Nori. Daly O'Brien. Bobberbeck Odelbekov. Kennedy Ogden. <laughs> Vernon Ogundipo. <laughs> Tofu Alua. <laughs> Alua Tomi Alua. <laughs> Fallon Ortman. David Oxman. Miriam Ozell.
Benjamin Pacheco. Durva Pai. Jeffrey Pai. Ava Pikeaday. Anish Palapolu. Alexa Panati. Samir Pungal. Javon Perara. Davis Park. Alap Patel. Manav Patel. Rishi Patel. Shrey Patel. Tanvi Patil. Trisha Patil. Ryan Payne. Sarah Payne. Patricia Betrajas. Ryan Peng. Ana Raquel Perez. Jennifer Perez. Zaya Permati. Jaden Petit. Kayla Petnon. Kyle Phillips. John Perkle. Rohan Pise. Ava Pitchford. Michaela Powers. Ashwin Prabhu. Aiden Prophet. Saksham Porbe. Kydrick Ray. Scott Rager. Mayak Raguanchi. Matthew Rom, Spencer Raimondo, Avni Rajat, Jaden Randolph, Kruthik Ravakanti, Sahan Reddy. Catherine Reed. Vashti Reese. Brooke Rule. Nicholas Riccardi. Lizbeth Rivera. Lamar Richardson. Marina Higo Gomez. Samantha Rivas. Max Rockwitz. Stella Rockwitz. Jamie Rodriguez. Isabel Roos Olson. 
Logan Rosenbluth. Haley Ross. Julian Runzo. Maddie Rutherford. Jennifer Rue. Maddie Safutin. Holly Sanders. Hargan Sandu. Monish Sung Sungtani. Andres Santiago. Olaf Santos. Neil Sarkar. Anna Saunders. Dylan Shoy. Angela Shulo. Benjamin Seletsky. Isabella Salmanoski. Katia Sergiva. Anne Marie Sergi. Sharia Seth. Jack Shannon. Gandharv Sharma. Karina Sharma. Naseem Shosh. Alexander Sherman. Nicholas Sherman. Christian Sierra. Clarissa Silva. Jada Simpson. Aditya Singh. Shivangi Singh. Jaden Slocum. Jasmine Smith. Kennedy Smith. Leslie Smith. Alice Sowersby. Luke Spohr. <laughs> Leah Squires. Autumn Starbird. Jocelyn Sue. Audubon Subramaniam. Suzanne Sujan. Maya Survey. Janaya Kasani Swaby. Alan Taboda. Jack Tamison. Saad Tanzim. Devin Taylor. Peyton Tenabar. <laughs> Hormis Talioth. Akila Thirumala. Jalexian Thompson. Maya Thurman.
Prathik Tapur. Abigail Tobin. Deja Trailer. Paige Tucci. Umama Udin. Esohe Uhuago. Jada Amusu. Jordan Amusu. Oliver Urbino. Sakvet Vadarevu. Jonathan Valdez. Ty Valdez. Varshika Vandenham. Sattvik Vangapandu. Sai Viswara Vari. Sai Velpuri. Sanjana Velagati. Mega Vemuri. Advik Venkatasan. Davida Verma. Jayas Vidal. Divya Vikram. Beatrice Viveros. <laughs> George Vladi. David Wall. Kate Walmsley. Allison Wong. Samuel Wong. Nia Washington. Jack Wyland. Sophia Weinstein. Derek Weiss. Robert Wells. Imogen West. Michael White. DJ Wiggins. Ramon Wilburn. Rachel Wilson. Sarah Kate Wilson. Daniel Wallenick. Annabelle Wood. Melody Wood. Larson Wright. Maddie Robel. Jerry Wu. Fernando Shi. Joseph Yu. Naya Humans. Nick. Young, Isabella Zeman, Linjay Zhang, 
Chu Feng Zhu. And Brandon Kersey. Congratulations. Please welcome Student Council President, Mr. Kieran Kushup, to the stage for the ceremonial turning of the tassels. Hey, yo, what's up? Hello, hello, is this, is this mic on? You know, after a year of muting and unmuting, and muting and unmuting, and muting and unmuting, you'd be surprised at how easy it is to forget when the mic is on. Anyways, greetings to teachers, faculty, family, and most importantly, my peers in Alfreda High School graduating class of 2021. My name is Kieran Kashyap, and I was elected to be your student council president. The campaign happened in a virtual setting, the voting happened in a virtual setting, and the majority of my term happened in a virtual setting. Yet, here we are. So I want to start this speech with a huge shout out to our Alfreda High School administration, PTSA, teachers, and everyone that made our prom, senior events, senior snacks, and most importantly, this in-person graduation a reality. I cannot tell you how great it is to present to faces and not just names on a screen. I no longer have to ask the cumbersome questions like, am I sharing my screen? Is my room too messy? And my personal favorite, I'm sorry, is my dog barking too loud? I just have the one, is the mic on? So I'll start by turning the clock back to a time before Microsoft Teams calls and Google Forms quizzes, a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. I'm talking our freshman year. As, and like most rising freshmen, I was quite nervous to enter high school, especially one with over 2,000 students and such a high level of achievement in academic excellence. I felt small. I felt like I had no voice. I felt like my mic was off. I would go to class and learn in government, listen to the morning announcements, play Clash Royale during lunch, that one we actually did, then just get on the bus, listen to a new Drake song, and go home and do homework. I didn't really take advantage of my opportunities. But then I began seeing our school organizations, our AHS video making the knee-slapping morning shows, our FBLA, HOSA, and debate team continuously bringing home national awards, our sports teams like football, track, basketball, volleyball, cross country, and swim consistently grinding and providing an outlet for school pride. Our student council hosting events and starting new initiatives in the school. Our STEM clubs like robotics, women in STEM, and science Olympiad finding new ways to innovate. Honor societies always being there to lend a helping hand. And our social justice clubs like BSU, United Latina Club, and Habitat for Humanity fighting for a cause. But seeing this, seeing students, teachers, coaches, and advisors exercised their passions. It empowered me. I found my voice, and I saw all my peers find theirs too. How else were we able to make a rap song posing the question philosophers have been pondering for years? Who better than Retta? Not to mention all those countless pep rallies, and as much as I'd like to forget, the infamous lip dub spanning the entire school. All of this helped answer one very important question. Is the mic on?
Because the answer is yes. The mic is always on. I know this past year has been discouraging to say the least. There are times where we've been uninterested, uncertain, and unmotivated. But let's remember that we can always unmute and exercise our voice just like we have these past four years. The truth is, we are all certified freaks seven days a week. With that wonderful Alpharetta pride. And I can confidently say that you all are some of the most interesting, qualified, strong-willed, athletic, intelligent, rowdy, creative, and loud bunch of people I have ever met. We are the class of 2021 and done, but in a much larger sense, there is still so much to do. As we begin this next chapter of our lives, if you ever think to yourself, is the mic on? Yes, the mic is always on. It's up to you to decide when to exercise your voice. Once again, congratulations, class of 2021. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> class of 2021, I ask you all to please stand for the official turning of the tassel. In order to signify our transition into official Alfreda High School alumni and to the journey that lies ahead of us, please join me in turning your tassel from the right side to the left. Now, on the count of three, Let's do the ceremonial cap toss, where we throw our caps in the air and replace them with a hat that signifies our next steps. Three, two, one. Thank you, family and friends. I present to you the class of 2021. For our guests, please remain in your seats and allow our students to complete the recessional. They will walk all the way out in a line to the back of the stage. Your graduate will join you at the conclusion of the recessional. Thank you so much for being here this evening and congratulations to the Alpharetta High School class of 2021.